What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Tuesday, February 7th slate of game. Guys, let's announce teams first before we recap last night. Uh, don't be mad at us if you didn't make the team, all right? We might be doing this every week from now on. You guys responded well to this idea, and we like letting you guys pick some props. Now, these are the teams for week one. It's early. Let's get active. Music. Coaching on the sidelines, we got Trigger Trey Trends with an undefeated record of 69-0. and He's going to be looking to keep his dominance on the sideline. Starting at point guard, my number one draft pick, my king. He better not fail me or else I'll cry. Come on down to center court. King drafted 1775. Starting at shooting guard, a dog in the streets, but a legend on the court. This guy better not be related to Jordan Pooler. He's going to get the fuck off my team. Micah Pool 9699, welcome to my squad. Starting at small forward, better not stand underneath the rim when this guy's driving to the lane. I'm pretty sure I grew up watching him on Telemundo's number one hit comedy, Everybody Loves Ramon. Get on down here and get some buckets, Ramon Solid 2116. Starting at Power Forward, he may be leading the league in technical fouls, but you can't spell win without this guy's name, Edwin Pratt 3160. And starting at Center, from Serbia, coming in at 6 foot 3 inches, 350 pounds. This guy is a menace in the paint. With him on my squad, I'll be cruising on to an easy victory. Give me this dog, Felix Cruz, 8979. Sixth man off the bench. Number one guy in our heart, though. When this guy comes into the game, people call it a kiss of death. A scorer with limitless range. Risk 5523. Welcome to my squad. Let's go. The man with history. A background so thick, you can eat it with a chip. The quarter Asian persuasion, your favorite and sexiest head coach, the one, the only, Pete. First up, the main cheese. He is known as the finisher, if you know what I mean. Number one for a reason, the one to help me honor my family, Endermaster282. Second, standing at a whopping six foot six in my heart. Name rhymes with mayonnaise, the game looks smooth as butter. The one. The only Shayayay Naze 3570. Oh. This one needs no intro, but I will, anyways. He makes an impression in the room. He drives a Toyota Prius. You know this man doesn't compensate. Monster DXS WK6265. My number four. The one that will be grinding to be at the top and laying the wood in the paint. You don't want to challenge this man. The Log7152. The last of in my starters, but certainly not the least, a walking menace, knows how to make people quiver, might catch a charge with his content, Lil Edgy. And first off the bench, I can't tell if it's Morse code, computer code, or the Da Vinci code, but the one that's going to be filling up the stats, user PK8ZV7TZ7M, say that three times fast. It's time! Introducing Team Bear! We started off playing at the one spot. It's not Garth Brooks, but it could be his younger brother. And I'm told he has friends in low places also. Give it up for Curtis Brooks. At the two spot, he comes out hot shooting the first half, and then he doubles down the second half, turning the nets to fire. That's right, it's Ashes. Ashes! At the three spot, it's not a Subaru, the most reliable long-lasting vehicle on the road. It's a Silbaru, the most reliable three on the court. Better fill up your gas tanks for this man. Number three, Subaru. At the four spot, I don't know what this name is, but it has ham in it, and it made me think of Christmas time. Stay loud for Kill Ham No. At the five spot, he has he was best friends with Jerry Seinfeld in the 80s and 90s, but turned his life around and started his own company. That's right, it's Great Miracle Industries. And last but certainly not least, it's the sixth man, number six on the sheet, but number one in my heart. He's been around the world and decided to pop in for a visit this week to play in this game. Give it up for the potential sixth man of the year, 
Jeffrey World. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Call that cringe if you want, guys. But I, <sighs> it. I just Heck watched yeah. the game, so I had to, I had to do the paper thing. Um, but these are the these are the rules here. The first five per team in bold need to send one player prop they like every night until Saturday night. Okay. Don't let your teammates down and miss a night. The three people in orange, whichever team you're under, you can potentially be the sixth man of the year candidate for your squad. You will also send a pick every night, and if our, one of your teammates fails to send it on the night, you're next man up. So everyone on this list, be sure to send in your favorite player props from 2-7 to 211 in the comments on each new video. We are very excited for this, as you guys can tell. You guys need to do your research, though, because every pick you take will be up on the following day to recap your picks. So lock in. Uh, we will see who can shine the brightest on this small stage with our channel. Uh, remember, each team is playing for a membership to our site. 86 and 56 record on player props on our site and 64% game picks record as well, if that interests anybody. All right, guys, let's look at last night's picks. Before we get into tonight's picks, Trey, start us off. Yeah, get me out of the way. I lost. It was embarrassing, Jaden Ivy. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to the overs, and I love the Jaden Ivy over. He averaged seven rebounds in his last two games versus the Celtics. And guess what? He only grabbed one, and it hurt. Finished with 15 PRs. We needed 19 for us to hit the over. Yeah, speaking of hurt, um, I had DeMar DeRozan last night over 25 and a half points. He finished with 19 in the game as the Bulls dominated the Spurs in the second half. He got up 17 shots, uh, made eight, needed more from him but in the fourth quarter. Just didn't play much in the fourth quarter up big. But we take the L. Teets? I had Tatum over 29 and a half versus Detroit. I was thinking that him and uh, Jalen Brown were going to finish with two 30 bombs, uh, but obviously that wasn't going to be able to be a thing because Jalen Brown was a healthy scratch late. Uh, so Tatum was able to do what he does by himself, uh, get about 34 points scored in a, in a victory. Yeah. The group play last night cashed as well uh, with Mike Conley under 13 and a half points. He finished with 10 as they lost to the Mavericks at home. Sad day for the Jazz. Um, let's get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to go back with old Reliable here. I'm going to go with DeAndre Ayton, and I'm going to go with his over on 28 and a half points in rebounds. He's playing the Nets here, and, Net, and the Nets team, quite frankly, does not care about stopping the ball from going into the hoop. And King Booker is back for this game, but that does not scare me away from the Ayton props because I do think Ayton could benefit a lot from uh, Devin Booker coming back. And at the moment, this young Nets team just wants to chuck up shots and just score as many points as possible. And that does allow a lot of rebounding opportunities for the opposing big men. And this Nets team did just play last night against the Los Angeles Clippers. And Ivanka Zubac absolutely went nuclear in that game, finishing with 31 PRs with 19 points and 12 rebounds. And I think we all can say with certainty that Aiton is head and shoulders better than, than Zubac. So if Zubac can get 31 against this team, I think 29 for DeAndre Ayton is a is a very good number. And these two teams have already played once this season, and, eight, and, and Ayton did smash the over in that game as well. He finished with 38 PRs with 24 points and 14 rebounds. And, and quite frankly, the Nets are just a terrible rebounding team. They're ranked 23rd in the NBA in allowing rebounds per game. And it gets even better for Ayton when we look at the offensive rebounding. The Nets are ranked 27th in the NBA for allowed offensive rebounds per game. So Aiton's going to get a lot of boards in this game. He's going to get a lot of putbacks, and, and, and I think he's going to contribute a lot in the points column. So give me DeAndre Ayton to make some barbecue chicken in the post and be a man among boys on the glass. I love the 28-and-a-half overplay for DeAndre Ayton today, guys. Barbecue chicken, indeed. Um, guys, it's time to lock in now. Um, I have a 6-0 and win. I have a 6-0 and week incoming. Uh, I don't like losing despite what my record says, and I hate losing to other teams, and this is team week. Um, so we are going to take care of business the remainder of the week. Tonight, I'm going with an under. I'm going to take LeBron James under 32 and a half points against the Thunder. Uh, I got dibs last night late, and that's why I got to take it on here. Uh, we all know LeBron only needs 36 points for him to break the all-time scoring record in the NBA. But I don't think he's going to do it tonight because his next game is also at home, and it's first the Milwaukee Bucks. He can take the all-time leading scoring title against the team Kareem started on and take it on his home court next game. I don't have stats for this game, as we know what LeBron James is. If you don't want his points, take his assist tonight. He will be more of a facilitator on as he tries to score 26-ish, 28-ish points, setting himself up to break the record in the first quarter or early in the second quarter versus the Bucks. probably on a famous Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hook shot, knowing how much LeBron loves drama. Um, I do feel bad for the people, though, who paid $40,000, $50,000 to be at this game tonight. 
Uh, but the story of LeBron James will be that much better as he breaks the record against the team who started it all for Kareem. So I'm going to go with LeBron James under 32 and a half points tonight. Seats. I'm actually looking at Mikael Bridges over 23 and a half PRAs versus Brooklyn. Um, honestly, recently, this is a very dis- disrespectful line for how he has been playing. And the only thing that makes sense is the fact that Devin Booker, uh, he's starting to have some uh, props up so in the book. So he might be back. I know that he's been injured for a while, so he might. they're kind of expecting him to potentially play, and that will kind of put a, a big wrench into Mikel Bridges' plans. But either way, uh, he's green like this in the last five games. As you can see, he's averaging 32.4 PRAs. Uh, he's hit this mark 11 of the last 12 games he's played. Uh, in the one game he missed, he missed on the hook. He ended up with 23 PRAs exactly. Uh, last two games he's played against the Nets, he's had 28 points, two rebounds, nine assists. And 27 points, eight rebounds, four assists. Uh, so the, the Nets are going to be tired. They just got done with a back to back for them. They had a really long grind out game against the Clippers. Uh, I don't think that they're going to be able to show up with the same tenacity and energy. And also, the Phoenix Suns have been really well, done, really good defensively and have been killing teams on the road. Uh, so I feel like this is just going to continue for the, the Suns in this game. So as long as uh, Devin Booker is not that big of a factor in this game, and even if he is, Mikel Bridges over 23 and a half PRAs is very doable. Yeah, and then the group play tonight will be Anthony Edwards over 26 and a half points versus the Nuggets. Uh, love scores on back-to-back games playing the same team. He only scored 20 against the Nuggets last game, but Nuggets didn't have any of their star players playing two nights ago, and it led to a blowout for the T-Wolves. He's shooting 19 times per game against the Nuggets this season. He should get up a healthy amount of shots tonight in what should be a good game. Guys, remember to get your team picks sent in in the comments so we can get your players on our page for tomorrow morning um good luck to everybody all right that'll do it guys for our nba player props for tuesday february 7th slate of games if you guys enjoyed the content please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below we'll see you guys next video and thanks for watching just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks plays and predictions on our youtube channel we also have a website for you to check out on our website bearsprofitplays.com You can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.